Hi, I'm Bill DeVille, host of United States of Americana on The Current. This week, our cool facts are about Pertnir Sandstone. They were founded in 2003. Pertnir Sandstone are a string band from Minnesota who bring Midwest flavor and original songs to traditional American and Appalachian folk sounds. Each day in the summertime, happens in the fall. Up and down this valley, I pick bucks up them all. $300 making good times here. Founding members of the band actually started playing together while they were in high school, but uh, like a lot of other people, they went their separate ways to go to college and that sort of thing. And once their lives began in earnest, the friends reunited and began playing regular gigs over at the Caboose, that uh, popular joint located just off of Franklin Avenue in Minneapolis. Those regular gigs helped the band polish their chops and their songwriting. To date, Pertnir Sandstone have released seven full-length albums. And as I've learned in my recent interview with founding member and banjo player Kevin Kniebel, they're working on their eighth album. Pertnir Sandstone's original fiddle player was Ryan Young. Yeah, you've heard of that guy. Now the fiddle player extraordinaire with Trampled by Turtles. He's producing this new one, as he did Pertnir Sandstone's 2016 album, Discovery of Honey. Besides making great music, the members of Pertnir Sandstone curate it too. This year they'll present their fifth annual Blue Ox Music Festival in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, featuring such artists as their dear friends Trampled by Turtles, the Del McCurry Band is there, infamous String Dusters, Pokey Lafarge makes a solo appearance, Charlie Parr will be there, plus Sarah Shook and the Disarmers from North Carolina will be there too. I'll feature music by Pertnir Sandstone and other Blue Ox Festival artists this week on United States of Americana. Join me for the rootsier side of the current every Sunday from 8 a.m. till 10 a.m. Central.